Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to a special edition of Sports for CLE. We are at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton for Mid-American Conference Football Media Days. And we begin Sports for CLE with Kenny Burns, head football coach of the Kent State Golden Flashes from down the road in Portage <laughs> County. Um, Kenny, nobody plans on going 1-11 in, in, yeah. in their, first, uh, their first season yeah. as a head coach. What did you take away from that? What can you build on, though? Yeah, you know... I always tell our team is that every experience you have, you can learn something. And I think that's what we did as a football team last year. We learned a lot about who we are. We knew we were young. Uh, we knew we were unexperienced. We had 11 new starters on offense. It's reality. Uh, and I think what we did as a, as a staff is we played a lot of young guys. And we let them kind of touch the stove and <laughs> get burned a little <laughs> bit and, and kind of learn from it. And hopefully you'll see a bigger and better team this year. Uh, one thing, you know, after the season ended, we as a staff looked at everything and we kind of do dove into it. We said there's three areas that we really need to address. And first it was alignment, making sure all our players are aligned with us in the vision of Kent Grit. And then the second thing was we had to transfer, transform our bodies. We didn't look like a, a competitive MAC team and we had to get there. So we hired a new strength coach, who's Charles Friday, who's come and did a great job. And then the last thing was development mentally and emotionally. Uh, we didn't handle adversity very well. Uh, we were a young team. We played, we were emotional at times. We didn't play with emotion. And uh, so we did some creative things this off season to address it. And hopefully you see that this fall. Uh, you mentioned a young team this year. You returned nine starters on mm -hmm. offense, six on defense. Yeah. How big of an advantage? You're smiling already. How big of an advantage is that? It's definitely an advantage. It's an advantage. The one thing I'll say, it's they're, the freshmen turned into sophomores. <laughs> and, hey. and the redshirt freshmen turned into sophomores. So we're still very young on offense. I think if you look at our offense, the roster, we're only graduating one guy. So they're, they're coming back still in the year after that. So uh, it's going to be a better team, a more united team for sure does it give you does it uh, give you more wins no but it gives you a chance yeah and, and you know the old joke about freshmen what's the best thing about freshmen they become sophomores, sophomores yeah, yeah. <laughs> um this team, what, what's the message to them then this year? Yeah, so, you know, the season ended and we got together as a football team. And uh, I told everyone, I said, you've been through this a year now. Uh, I will help you if you want to transfer. I will let you go. Uh, but if we come back, we've got to be all in. Everybody's got to be all in to what we're doing here. Uh, not looking or second guessing what we're doing, but find a way to contribute to our football team in a positive way and maximize your potential under the Kent Grin umbrella. And the guys have taken it around with it. We had one of our best winter conditionings that I've, I've been around as a football coach I thought spring ball we got better uh, and then this summer these guys are cranking it and right now we're connected football team and I think a connected football team is a dangerous football team so when you're playing the way Kent football wants to under Kenny Burns, what are we seeing on the field? What type, what type of team do you want Kent State to be moving forward? A tough physical team that plays together. Uh, that, that's it's about that simple. You know, schemes are schemes that you're going to do what you do to, to give yourself an advantage. But when people watch us, I want to say, wow, they play together. They play tough and they play physical. And that's what we're working towards. Um, when you look at some of the strengths this year, what do you think can be a strength uh, of this group yeah. uh, in, in 2024? Yeah, but, well, they're both here with me. <laughs> <laughs> Christian McCray, obviously, first team all conference receiver. Uh, he got hurt last year. I think he led the league in, in reception yards. Uh, a young talent. I think he's only going to be a sophomore. Uh, he's got a ton of ability. Uh, we, we're going to go as he goes. <laughs> and, and he knows that. I put a ton of pressure on him uh, this season, and he's going to have to perform. I think it's easy to get to the top, but when you're at the top and now people are trying to stop you, you know, how do you handle that? and I think he's done a great job with that. And then our defensive line, who Oliver Billett's here with us, I think that's the strength of our defense. We were turning three starters there, a uh, ton of experience. Uh, they, their depth, they're what I call NFL bodies. They've got the frame to be big bodies that can get to the next level. Uh, we're going to rely on them as well. Um, flip side of that, so if I can tell you, you can smooth this out, and, and this is going to be what you hoped it would be. Um, what would that, what area of that would be? So an area of concern that if you get it, get, get it right, you could be rolling. Uh, well, quarterback. <laughs> if you got a good quarterback, you got a chance, right? So we've got two guys that I think had a really good offseason. It's a really competitive battle right now between Tommy and, and Devin Kirkman. Uh, those guys have both had really good summers. Uh, fall camp, we're going to throw it out there and see who runs with it. Um, what can this offense be? You know what? I think this offense can be better. <laughs> it can be better. Uh, I think, you know, we've got Kai Thomas at running back, a transfer from Kansas, who I had at Minnesota, was a, a Big Ten freshman, I think, of the year back then. But uh, And then we got Krishan on the outside. we got all five linemen back. Uh, so if these guys keep getting better daily, uh, I think we'll put it together at one point, and then we'll, we'll kind of explode as an offense. All right, before I let you go, uh, non-conference games at Pitt. Uh, you play St. Francis at Tennessee at Penn State. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> how much are you going to find out about your young team 
very early, very, very quick. <laughs> you know, everybody says it's the toughest schedule out there. I say it's the most opportunistic schedule <laughs> because for the first time in college football, there is a clear path for a group of five team to compete for a national championship. That's never happened before. And I'm telling my team, if, if we for somehow, some way, I know the world doesn't think we can do it, but if we find a way to win a couple of non-conference game guys, and, and then you're going to set yourself up to compete for a MAC championship, and then who knows what's going to happen. Uh, so we're looking at the football team as an opportunistic schedule that can give us a chance to play for something bigger and better. Kenny Burns, head coach, Kent State Golden Flashers. Appreciate it. Hey, appreciate Thanks very you. much. Hey, thank you. We're going to take a quick time out on the side of the break. We'll hear from a couple of the Golden Flash players. It's a special edition of Sports for CLE from the Mid-American Conference Media Days, Pro Football Hall of Fame in Camp. I think you can do so much from traveling the world. So many people to stay in the, uh, the box of, that we live in. The study abroad program at Kent State made it clear what path I should be taking. Experiencing the different classes to experiencing the art and the buildings and the culture. I'm just hoping to take back everything I've learned and be able to apply it into whatever I do in the future. Kent State has basically helped to set up the vision for the career that I want to be able to go through. We continue the special edition of Sports for CLE. Some Golden Flashes players joining us, Krishan McCray, wide receiver, and uh, Oliver Billet, uh, who is a defensive lineman. Guys, uh, we talked to, to Coach Burns. Um, last year, what did you take away from it? Nobody wants to go one in, one in whatever. Um, what did you learn that you can utilize this year? We'll start with you. Uh, basically, we just learned how to you know, fight through adversity when things don't go our way in games. Also, to just grow from the next play and to keep going forward and stay together. Oliver? Um, leading off what Krishan said with the adversity, and then on top of that, I feel like it was a motivational thing. So now we had a lot of motivation coming into this offseason, putting in our work, putting our heads down, and just getting after it. Uh, a lot of guys coming back from that team, yeah. a lot of starters in particular. What does that do just as a player? What does that mean to you? Um, for me, I feel like it's building connection within our team. I know my class personally with Krishan and a lot of other guys, we've been super close throughout this, and now I feel like we're kind of taking over the reins being older guys. So I feel like it's exciting to see us, our friendships build, and be able to put that out on the field with our connection. Krishan, nine starters uh, back on offense. What kind of offense can this be? It can be a really good one, I'll tell you that. Um, the more we build our connections, the more we play together and get to know each other more, it's just going to be a great offense. We talked to uh, Kenny Burns, and, and Coach said, you know, we're going to go as Krishan goes. What does that do for you? I, I mean, head coach has that much confidence. Um, sounds like he's going to – he has some plans to get the ball in your hands, and I see the smile on your face. Yeah. Uh, it definitely uh, gives me a boost of motivation uh, to knowing that people are counting on me to go out and do what I do. Um, Oliver, the other thing that he said is our defensive line is a strength defensively. That, what type of responsibility do you feel as a D-line? Um, just it's time to go make plays when we go out in the field. We got a good group of guys, really close group of guys. I know me and my best friend, I live with them now, is Stephen Daly. He's another big part of our defensive line. So I feel like it's, we're excited to get after it this season. What's kind of the, the mindset of the team? Is there, is there like a message that you guys have to each other? Um, and this is for both of you. Um, so our message this year has been like all in. So we're pushing all our chips into the table, trying to take every advantage we possibly can, every little detail, fine tune it so we can leave literally everything we have on the field. Krishan, uh, what do you say to teams that might be taking Kent State lightly? Uh, and, and do you get motivated by that? Uh, we work the same. Like, we don't really listen to the outside noise. So. It, it's just, we're just going to let our uh, play show. Um, how much confidence do you guys have? Last question I'll ask both of you. Confidence that, um, in what's happening and, and the way you're building things? The confidence is in our work. I believe like we've put in work, and I would like to say that we're, we're working harder or just as hard as any other program in the country, and I really feel like that's going to show out on the field. I agree with that. Tell me a little bit about, uh, Coach mentioned the off season. What was that like? How much, uh, how much did you put in in the weight room and, and getting bigger, faster, stronger? Yeah, this was probably the toughest off season we've ever had. Uh, definitely went to show like, what that work was in the off season and the season coming up with our play. So. I lied. I got one more question. You, you play Penn State. You play, uh, what is it, Tennessee. You play Pitt. 
How do you guys approach those games? Same as every game. You know, we have the mindset that we can go in and win and compete with the highest level. So, Opportunity, maybe? Absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a time to showcase yourself in front of millions and millions of people in the world. So why not give your best stuff? Krishan McCray, Oliver Bott, great stuff. Best of luck to the Flashes in 2024. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it.